And so this established ex at least the existence yes. of gravitational waves, of the fact that space and time undulate in this wave-like manner and it carries energy, mm -hmm. the same exact amount of energy that Einstein's equations predict, mm -hmm. okay? So I just want to make a note that that's, it, what's interesting is it required no specialized measurement equipment no. at the time. It was just you know, what we already had, radio telescope? Yeah, it was just a radio, radio telescope, telescope and Arecibo. math. Um, 1970s, actually, Taylor and Holtz, uh, one of their um, plaques is on the Princeton University physics yeah. uh, thing because he won the Nobel Prize for it. So he, they used the Arecibo radio telescope. Yep. Have you seen this yes, thing in yes. Puerto Rico? Yes. So they were trying to look for pulsars. A pulsar is basically a neutron star that kind of acts like a lighthouse. Mm -hmm. It's got these strong magnetic fields, so it's got these jets of yes. radio light that are coming out. And it's a lighthouse in the sense that as it rotates, right? Yes. The 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 part of the beam, the yeah. radio beam, is going to just like go through the Earth. Yeah. These pulsars are some of the most precise clocks ever made in the universe right because it's really hard to slow down just because of the conservation of angular momentum it's just going to keep going mm -hmm. okay so this pulsar was different okay okay because this pulsar every once in a while it would the the pulses would arrive three seconds too late or three seconds too early and what they figured was this pulsar is actually rotating with another neutron star mm. that's revolving in this binary pulsar system. Got it. Okay. This became a really nice test bed for general relativity because they're close to each other, right? Three seconds in light distance, like the moon is about one and a half seconds away. So this is, imagine like it's the earth and like two, another two, two moons moon away. Yes. Two stars, which means that according to Einstein's GR, these should be radiating gravitational waves. Mm -hmm. If they're radiating gravitational waves, then they should be losing energy because it takes energy to deform space and time. Yes. They should be falling into each other and they should be rotating faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can do all of the math. I was going to say you can do the math. You can do the math and you can figure out, according to GR, how fast should that decay be, <laughs> right, right? right? Of their of their total energy. Yes. And it's a beautiful plot that they have in their paper where it shows a line that shows the theoretical prediction and then it shows dots With of the, the experiment, experimental. Yeah. And the dots are lining up exactly Zach. to Einstein's GR. And now we've been watching this pulsar for the past 40 years now. Which makes sense. And it's just, it just continues down. It's like that. the perfect experiment in the sky. Yeah.